With their old chap out, just like, yep. Yeah, yep, like as just in. Bought, yep, just, just bought a new cock ring. Look at it. What the fuck? <laughs> Your head went up my arm. It did. <laughs> I was inside you. <laughs> oh, God. Why did you do that? I don't know. I thought it'd be different. I'm going to come on each week with a different flip. <laughs> Or just jump in, just whatever, you know. Take this off. Welcome to Broke Boys and Chill, episode three, season two. Um, today, we're going to be talking about, well, I, I was going to say something that's not car related, but it's going to get car related and I know it. Yeah. Today, we're doing a little bit of a chat on what pisses us off most. And usually, during the day, when I'm at home on my own, I'll think about a hundred things that just piss me off. Now I'm in front of the camera, <laughs> I can't think of any. Bruh, there's a long list. There is a long list. There's a long list. I, I've got one. Straight away. People that use a sink, uh, people that use a bowl in their sink, you do, it's weird. No, do you know why? To wash up. Do you know why I used to? Well, I didn't, I don't wash it up. Um, because our old sinks, the plug weren't, it just was too small for the hole. Oh, so, for you, some didn't, reason. so you didn't have a plug, so, so you bought a bucket. So yeah, well, because you fill it up with water and it just, yeah. Goes. So this is my theory, right? There was a guy that sat down many years ago, and I'm thinking medieval time sort of <laughs> shit. And he sat How there. Can I sell the most pointless thing no, to fix people? No, he, he sat there and he came up with a genius plan. He said, instead of going down to the river with a bucket every single fucking day, filling the bucket up and washing my shit up down at the river, why don't I walk back with the bucket, pour it into a man-made bucket, which we put in the house built in, yeah. And then I can potentially reuse that water for a couple of washes and it saves me the journey. Now that's rank. That it is, but it's medieval times. They were shitting on each other. True. That's. Well, <laughs> I, <laughs> I said that with so love what you said. <laughs> well, yeah, true. <laughs> what? I said it with such confidence. Yeah. So, <laughs> what, what that means. <laughs> Sorry, that became the sink, okay? So this guy, he, he put his hard work and effort into thinking, right, what can I do to save me the trouble? But now, what we've gone and done, yeah, but is we get, we get a bucket, we put it in what is, what is effectively already a fucking built-in bucket, <laughs> You fill up the bucket inside the bucket's a bucket. Got taps. Yeah. But you fill up the bucket inside the bucket, wash your shit up, and then take the bucket out the bucket to tip the fucking water away. What? That's so. Bro, do you know what it's like? In my house, we don't wash up with. Like, I haven't got a dishwasher. We wash up, right? And I don't wash up with a bucket. That's all I'm saying. Fill your fill fill your sink up if you need to. Or don't get me wrong. Like, save the children and all that shit. What I'm saying is, is we just run the tap. But there's only me and my mum. There's not like five of us to wash up for. So it's like a plate and a, a knife and fork. We run the tap and quickly... They share a plate. We share a plate. <laughs> I have one half, my mum has the other. We've got blue and pink, split down the side. It's Middle. like a Domino's half and half pizza. Yeah. No, do you know what it's like? I, I agree with you. It's okay. weird. What's your counter argument, bro? It's not a counter argument. I, I worded that wrong. Okay. Um, it's a point to add to your point. That is like, <laughs> and again, car related. Um, someone spending all... The geezer invented the wheel. Spent so much time yeah. inventing that wheel and... Effort. Yep. And they can't. And then someone put it on a fucking Skoda. <laughs> Not a Skoda fan. No. <laughs> translate, translate it into into car, right? It's like buying a wheel, right? And then buying like a hollow wheel, putting the wheel that you've bought into another wheel, and then using it. No, that was shit. No, that was terrible. All right then, my friend. Number two, you buy bucket seats. And you buy a second seat to put in the bucket seat to sit on the second seat. Baby seat. What was the point? No, but the babies aren't, aren't big enough for the well, seat. No, it's like buying a bucket seat and just bolting it to your original seat. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. No, I get you. I get you. Like, Look, it just doesn't it, make it sense. It weren't my choice. It's one of those things that pisses me off in life. I weren't like, oh yeah, mum, let's buy a bucket so we can wash up inside our bigger bucket. <laughs> like, that's like buying a smaller bucket and just putting it inside this yeah. bucket and washing your car. Yeah. It makes no fucking sense to me. Cyclists, don't get me started. Yeah. <laughs> There's a long list of things that annoy me with cyclists. When they don't put their feet on the floor and they just balance. Yeah. Just put your lycra. No, but when they're clipped lycra. in. No man's ever looked happy wearing lycra. No. But no. When, they're, when they're clipped into the, that's my counter argument. When they're clipped, they're, to be fair, you, you should have bought a car. But 
Yeah, you can, but it's quite, it's, it's quite, it's like a, it doesn't matter. You, and then when you, you go back on, out and put it down. When you go so back on. you fall in face first onto the fucking concrete. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, count How many it. fucking cyclists a year get stomped on by fucking lorries? Because they didn't want to put their feet down and they fell over. Um, okay. The little bells cyclists have. It's not going to make me get out of your way, you <laughs> sound like an ice cream man. <laughs> what? What ice cream man has a bell? Loads of them. <laughs> loads. I know loads of ice cream men, personally. There's Kev. Yep. Baz. Yep. Bobby. Yep. Anything like Gary, Bob. Barry, yeah. Larry, ice cream men. Steve, Alan, Dave, ice cream men. Savile. That's like a last name, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. If you go and sit in McDonald's, yeah. right, a fast food restaurant, where your food doesn't get brought over to you, yeah. you have to go and collect it yourself. And you finish your meal, all done, go to get up, and you leave your fucking tray on the floor. Oh no, you put lazy, it in the bin. inconsiderate. <laughs> just put it in the fucking bin. Oh. And if I see anyone doing that, I literally lose my shit. That is, my, I think that's my biggest thing. No, that's not my biggest thing, but I know what you mean. Because it's, it's not, it's not their job. Like they're not, you don't get, don't get me wrong, you get someone to clean the tables and stuff, but it's like. It may be their job, but it, just, yeah, just help them out. It is, but yeah, no, you don't do that. You pick it up and like you go put it in the bin. No, the other workers get enough shit as it is. Like, look other... at their lives, right? Just help them out. So far, we've gone through a fair few points. And this all, could be the longest video we've ever done. And all we're really proving to anyone is just we are some moany old men. Now, do you know what? I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy guy. But there's certain things in the world. Grown men riding scooters to work in a suit. And as well, <laughs> we, I'm gonna have to cut all these, these out. Why? Because it's a bit too much. Why just bleep me? Well, I'm gonna have to bleep myself because I just said it. <laughs> There's a bird on Instagram. You most probably won't know her, there's quite a few Instagram accounts. Anyway, so she uploads a photo. Mm. I notice it, she hasn't uploaded in a while. It come up on my homepage, whatever, scrolled past. Day, two days later, whenever it was, like two days ago, something Didn't like get enough likes, so she re-uploaded it. It comes up on my profile again, so I'm thinking, I've seen this photo before. So I go down, uploaded two hours ago, so I'm thinking, what the fuck? So I click on her thing and she's deleted the previous upload yeah, and uploaded didn't again. Get enough likes. That is the biggest like 14 year old mistake. And she's like 20 or like 20, I think she's like 23. Name is shame. No, I, I don't know her name. She's like a, or she's a car girl. No, oh, right. I, she's not a car girl. I think she's just followed by a couple of, I think she is. No, I think she posts pictures of cars and stuff. I don't fucking know this girl. But all I'm saying is it pissed me off, so I unfollowed her. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just Do you know what me up again? the most, I think, about social media? Yep. Is when people are quite clearly <coughs> in a bad mood about a certain thing. So they will scroll the internet to find a picture that perfectly explains how they're feeling. Like a meme. And they won't put a caption with it. They'll just put that up. So people comment, oh, what's wrong, hun? What's wrong, babe? I've got so uh, many things that have just popped into my head. So many things, and it's related to yours. When people scroll the internet, Females in particular, but I've seen a couple of blokes do it, and it's just like, boys, stop fucking doing this. Um, when they find a picture of like a really fit bird and a really fucking good looking bloke about to bang. Yeah. And then they put mood, dot. What <laughs> the fuck, yeah. mate? No one cares. Bro, if you're horny as fuck, don't do that. Girls, no one cares about your slutty nip. Like, no, you can't put up a photo of two people fucking tell the whole world, including your mum, who's most on social media, that that's the mood that you're in, and then claim that you're not a slag, because you fucking are. And then as well, the second thing that pisses me off, how back in the day, when I was at, we're 23, so back in the day when we were 15, which is 2009, 2008, 2009 time, something like that. That was quick maths. It wasn't, I, it's like, it was like the best year of my life. I enjoyed it so much. That no, summer, I don't remember the year though. That summer was so great, I do. Around that time, if a girl uploaded on fucking Bebo, or <laughs> MySpace. MySpace, or even Facebook early days, or MSM profile pictures, bro, if anyone hit them up, and a girl had like cleavage out, like as in, she took a photo of herself in a, in a long mirror, 
cat folk, like fucking a Sony Ericsson, whatever they were fucking called. One of them Sony Ericsson's that come, uh, bro, I remember the other day, infrared. Do you remember that? Oh shit, yeah. Anyway. Taking a photo, the flash was so bright you couldn't see her face because the flash had overtaken it. And you could just see all the dirt on the mirror. But they had either done black and white uh, tint or like sepia or sepia. <laughs> right? But you could see bare dirt on the mirror, but she had made sure that she got like a bit of cleavage in. Slag. Damn right fucking hoe. No one touched her, no one went near her because she was disgusting. Now, right? You cannot post a picture up of yourself in a thong, naked, fucking a picture of your ass or something. Try to claim that it's your gym gains and not be a yeah. fucking hoe. Oh, look at my shoes. It's just my oh. ass out. Like. Honestly, it winds me up like, um, yeah, like going out, out or going out and they're like fully expressing everything like as in you See leave for lunch some girls leave nothing to imagination anymore nothing but they're yeah, not, no, not hosts because of it that's, no, but, no of it. but that's why i like a good old-fashioned burka <laughs> it's like i'm wrapping a present <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what i'm trying to say is, is it really winds me up when somebody even even blokes as well i guess when they're like full fucking like with their old chap out just like yep yeah yep, like as in bought, yep just just bought a new cock ring look at it what the fuck like I, I, oh yeah, i've this, got an array of cock rings so you know <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon you can get jewellery for it? Or Most it probably. Or, or it, I just always assumed the cock ring was, was the thing. The buzzy thing, hard. isn't it? Oh, is that what it is? I think so. What's the vibrating one, then? A blokes have done it as well, where they get their... They get, like, Calvin Klein's, obviously. Like, because who wears next boxes these days? You wear next boxes, aren't you? That's so weird. I'm wearing Calvin Klein's, just saying. I don't know I've how you do that. Because I go through a lot of boxes. So do I. Would you shit yourself? No, uh, no, I wear like three pairs a day. When they get those Calvin Kleins and they like roll them up and they try and get like a, a leg gain in, like... You do it as shorts, bro. Do you know what I mean? There's shorts out there that are fucking short enough now that you don't need to show me none of your leg gain shit. Yeah, like and then fucking... It just makes you... Blokes are wearing like Daisy Dukes like a, now. It makes you... <laughs> what? Daisy Duke. What's that? Duke's Hazard. Oh, what those like, um, yeah, so they're like actually up their ass. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah nah. Like, we don't need to see that shit. It just makes you look like a fucking either a man hoe or if you're ugly as fuck, because girls get it regardless. Boys, yeah. you've got you've to be cutting some sort of cake, bro, because otherwise. Cutting cake? <laughs> like, you've got to be. Just in a pitch, just cutting the cake. Like, yes, girls, <laughs> you've got to be cutting something, otherwise, otherwise, you ain't getting it. It just makes you look like a fucking idiot. People who have, like, when they talk to you, they feel like they have to be right next to your face. They piss me off more than anything in the world. Space invaders. Space invaders. Um, Charlie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Brown. You're a fucking Roman. You're a space invader, bro. Wow. Pineapple on pizza. Oh. Uh, winds me up. Overcooked pizza. Who uh, puts fruit on any sort of food? Like, as in savoury food. Like, who puts fruit on their tomorrow. dinner? No, but that doesn't count. It's a vegetable. Let's be honest. It's a vegetable. It's been established as a vegetable for years. It's a, it's, it's a vegetable dressed as a fruit. Yeah. It's a vegetable that's fooled us. Look, would you just grab a tomato and eat it? No. no. And if you do, you're weird. Just you watching Broke Boys and Chill. This is episode three. Episode four will be after this. <laughs> you, can count. you can count. Um, and the little head movement. I like that, whatever that was. <laughs> Ding. Um... <laughs> I don't, know. I don't have to make the noise. Oh, okay. Read it in. <laughs> yes, that's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, so um, we will hopefully see you next week. Um, I'm trying to make these more regular, but we always say that and we never really do. Okay, so if you're not already, hit us up on Instagram, hit us up on Snapchat, hit us up on Facebook, Broke Boys UK for them all. If you don't know about it already, the show that we're hosting is Broke Boys at the Farm. It's on Saturday the 1st of July. Um, there is a Facebook event on it. I haven't promoted it too much. So there's not many people on there, but we sold out. Oh, we sold out 350 tickets in... 15 and a half hours, and for about seven to eight hours of those hours, people were asleep. Yeah, that was so, nice. 
what, let's say eight and a half hours, nine and a half hours, we sold out 350, no, 375 tickets, I think it was, um, and they went so quick. In the first six minutes, we sold 102, and then after that, it slowly kind of slowed down, but they went um, way faster than we ever wanted them to. If you did buy a ticket, then thank you very much, and as well, we'll be sending them out very soon, um, and they'll be coming to you, and all the information, explanation of what's happened on the day will be on there as well. In the meantime, head over to the event, um, and order some stuff on our website which is www.brokewishuk.co.uk it'll be in the description and you'll get a leaflet through about it yeah so yeah if you want yeah. to find out more buy unless stuff. we forget unless we forget um, but yeah thank you very much for watching uh, we will see you Sunday I hope next when week peace. When peace bye peace Mike's wearing different jeans I'm wearing the same hat um, what are you doing? Stop. You're showing off my jeans.